Hi folks, this is Jason. I hope you're okay today. Uh, it's good to be with you. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com jasonburnspreacher.com and you can get me on my Twitter. Uh, you can see loads of good stuff on my Twitter and uh, you can also go on my Facebook and uh, you've got my YouTube channel as well. And um, So my website is jasonburnspreacher.com um, I just want to do this video and I'm just going to pray and then ask the Lord's blessing on this video. Father, I just thank you for your love and your goodness and I just pray, Father, that this video would bring glory to your name and that you bless it in Jesus' name. And may everything I say be bring glory to you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Um, I just want to make a video about uh, Paul Williams, um, who's a Muslim apologist in Hyde Park. And uh, anyhow, we'll just listen to him and see what he has to say. Um, of uh, precisely such uh, nefarious activities. Also, we're going to talk about um, Lizzie's article on the hijab. And I've listened to her um, discussion with Jay Smith. I think that was here, was it last week or the week before last? I watched that on YouTube carefully and it's full of lies and slander against the distinguished companions of the Prophet, particularly Umar. And it also uh, misrepresents how Muslims understand our faith in the round. So um, I'll just go ahead here. First and foremost, I want to mention there's not only Muslims who say this about Jay Smith and his organization, Lizzie. Non-Muslims consider the Profanda Center to be Islamophobic. Lizzie Sco is it Schofield or Schofield? Thank you, pardon. Lizzie Schofield, in a blog entitled Islamophobia versus Islamocriticism in March, acknowledges this openly. And she admits her group has been barred from speaking at certain venues because their ministry is considered to be Islamophobic. And she says this, quoting her very words. The term Islamophobia is chucked at us all the time by Western, sorry, liberal Westerners as well as by Muslims. This taint has kept us from universities and other public forums and hindered many others from supporting our work. Justin Briley, who is a premier Christian radio, by the way, I've issued an official challenge to debate Jay on Premier Christian Radio, and they've accepted this challenge. I'm waiting for Jay to let me know. He acknowledges that many non-Muslims consider their ministry to be extreme. Let me quote Justin Briley. There are people out there, he said, on the 12th of August last year, Christians as well, who see you guys as kind of extreme. That's Justin Briley. To many of us Muslims here today, Jay Smith himself particularly, sounds like a paranoid, self-radicalized cult leader. He's even gone so far, and I heard this myself a few weeks ago, from this very ladder saying to Muslims that you are meant to kill me, Jay Smith, and kill all Christians. This is what Jay Smith claims. And he adds that this is what the Quran teaches in Surah 9.5, which is just silly rubbish, as any Muslim will tell you. Now, how can Jay Smith not be contribu contributing to Islamophobia? He demonizes every Muslim as somebody to fear. This sets panic and fear in the wider population, uh, which in turn is the ignition for hatred, hatred of Muslims. Now, at this point, I'd like to refer people to uh, an article on my blog, Blogging Theology. Okay. So... Let's just um, see. So here, I went down to Hyde Park. This is a Muslim, and this is a Muslim, this is a Muslim. And they surrounded me and did not want me to preach. Now, We'll get to uh, 
some other video. Okay. So here, Muslims surround this Christian. Well, if you look there, he's absolutely surrounded with Muslims who are not letting him speak. I'll give you another example. Here's another one. Look at all the Muslims that are surrounding him. Surrounding him, yeah. Now, I'll show you something. See this gentleman here? Take note of the gentleman there because I'm going to talk about that now. So, <clears throat> so the gentleman that you saw with the um, the uh, cover over his head uh, is a Christian who was a Muslim but left Islam and became a Christian. We as a team went down a few months ago to Hyde Park as Christians and we met him and he was a lo he's a lovely man and while we're down there one of our team members was with him and a Muslim walked past and th threatened to kill that man that was a Muslim in front of two Christians publicly in front of a witness threatened that Christian that he would kill him when we went down as a team we went we went down twice we had been down twice when I went down the first time uh, Masu said that he would debate me the Muslim apologist when he found out that I was a Christian apologist he declined to debate is Associate said he would debate me, but never got in contact with me. When I was preaching the first time, I was surrounded by countless Muslims who tried to stop me from preaching, who didn't want me to preach, and were saying derogatory remarks to me. The second time we went down, I debated Sham Shamsi. He said that his camera had run out, and stopped the debate just at a point when he made a, a, a remark and wouldn't let me answer and then later on he went and made a video about that situation so and put it into the video therefore lying saying that his video had run out and editing the video and doctoring the video to try and make me look bad during that day we had four, four uh, of our team uh, at Hyde Park. I had one amicable debate 
as well as Shamsi, with uh, a man from Manchester, a Muslim. And that debate was generally quite amicable. But as we went through the debate, uh, through the day, as I started to preach, I was hounded by Muslim men. One man stood in front of me and wouldn't let me preach. Other men surrounded me and were saying derogatory remarks, abusive remarks. And very abusive. On top of that, two of our other helpers, uh, one, one of them was surrounded uh, by Muslims. And they were trying to argue with him. And doctored the videos that they did of him. And another one of our helpers was doing debates. And he was surrounded by Muslims. And they weren't giving him a fair hearing. On top of that, during that day, I saw, with my very own eyes, a man trying to stop Jay Smith from speaking, a Muslim man, and also men, Muslim men, being abusive in derogative way to Jay Smith's team of women. I saw it with my own eyes, where they were disrespectful to specifically one lady that I saw, they were very disrespectful, disrespectful towards uh, one of um, J Smith's uh, team so basically um, we were surrounded by about 50 to 60 Muslim men when we went down as a team and they wouldn't let us do our thing they wouldn't let us do the work that we were going down there to do a number of the Muslim apologists were invited to debate they didn't really want to debate. They just wanted these other men to, to abuse. I only got a debate with Shamsi because he, he didn't know me. He didn't know I was a Christian apologist. The others did, so they didn't want to debate me. And I got a debate with the Manchester guy because he knew me. But the rest of the Muslim apologists, they didn't want to debate because they knew I was a Christian apologist. So they'd rather us be surrounded by loads of Muslim men goading us and being unkind to us so the point is is that oh and Paul Williams Paul Williams uh, walks around and walks around with a bad attitude his attitude towards Christians is so bad he is so rude and so uh, disrespectful towards Christians. If you don't, if you if you if you if you don't believe me, go and listen to his debate. Uh, that's on Living Waters. The way he was disrespectful towards the uh, worker of Living Waters missionary in, in Europe. Very disrespectful. Um, and he goes around and and what they do. Uh, these Muslim apologists like Hamza, Paul Williams, and uh, and all the rest of them. They can't have proper intellectual debate, really proper intellectual debate. The meat and potatoes of these people is they swoop on Christians who don't know anything and they'll start arguments with them and then they'll just get them on video and then when they've got it on video they say, look at us, we've won a debate and, and try to make the Christians look foolish. That is the meat and potato of Paul Williams, Hamza and all these Muslim apologists down at Hyde Park. The cowards, they're not men. And so this attack upon Lizzie and attack upon J. Smith is just the, the lowest denominator of these kind of apologists. They're, they're the same as the internet atheists. The internet atheists are the same. The, the cowards, they, 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 they really, really can't debate the internet atheist. So what they do is they attack your personality, they, uh, they attack your character. Uh, they try to demonize you, they try to stop your free speech, they'll do anything that they can do to stop you from being able to get your message out. And uh, this is the same with Paul Williams, they, they have a bad attitude. Um, and attacking the character of Jay Smith and attacking the character of Liz, saying that the Islamic pho Islamic phobia, when there's loads of Muslim men bullying uh, Christians down there, you're bullying them, you're actually being abusive because you're picking on Christians that that don't know anything and you're going debating them and trying to make them look stupid 
And then when a Christian apologist comes along, you can't handle it. So what do you do? Oh, he's Islamophobic. And that's all. That's that's what that's what you're doing. You 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 can't deal with Liz's scholarship. So oh, she's Islamophobic. Can't deal with Jay Smith's scholarship. Oh, he's Islamophobic. That's all it is. It's just a, a way of muddying the waters. I mean, I mean, it's laughable. It's absolutely laughable. So what, what Paul Williams is trying to do is trying to ride the back of political correctness and know that there is a wave of sympathy for Islam because uh, many of these politically correct people uh, are all in, in bed with the... Uh, it, it, with the sort of anybody who speaks against Islam, they're in bed with those who 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 have sympathy towards Islam, and and so they've concocted uh, Islamic phobia as a as a way of demonising anybody who criticises Islam, and it's just a way of shutting down uh, intellectual debate and discussion really about Islam. So rather than uh, Paul Williams having to deal proper in a proper scholarly way, uh, I mean he's only a, he's not a proper scholar himself. He he doesn't know what he's talking about half the time about Christianity, and um, you know, and same with Hamza. They're not properly trained theologians. Uh, they're not trained in, in, in it properly. Uh, so they they're just hacks, and they go to Hyde Park. They pick on young Christians and they try to make them look stupid. But at the end of the day, because they can't beat the Christian apologist like Lizzie, like uh, Jay Smith, tar them as Islamic phobia, as, you know, as instigators of Islamic phobia, and therefore nullify the opposition. We don't have to deal with their scholarship anymore because they're, they're Islamic, Islamic phobia. They're propagating Islamophobia. Uh, and, and basically that that's the way to deal with the opposition just demonize them islamophobic islamophobic hate preachers don't want to listen to them their scholarships null and void because they are propagating islamophobia well i'm sorry that's not a logical conclusion you know basically we've got to look at the facts we've got to look at the evidence we've got to look at what you've actually saying we've got to look at it and see what you're about and what you're propagating, what your teaching is, and see if it stands up to intellectual scrutiny. And when Lizzie and Jay Smith are looking at your sources, your sources are not good. Your sources show that your faith is not what you're making out to be. And you've got to face it. You're just completely dishonest about the Quran. Um, absolutely dishonest about the Quran. You won't actually debate concerning the textual criticism of the Quran. Shamsi did not de deal with the questions I was give asking him. You you're not intellectually honest. So what you're doing is you're attacking Jay Smith and Liz's character and it's absolutely despicable because at the end of the day you, you are inept at proper debate and you're inept at proper academic discussion. You're inept in Christian theology and even in your own Islamic theology. You're inept and because you feel inadequate and you cannot deal with the arguments that Christian apologists are bringing, like um, Jay Smith, like Lizzie, you dis destroy their ministry by attacking their character. Which shows the level of scholarship that you are on. That your level of scholarship, Paul Williams, is zero. It's down there, bro. It's down there. I've met this Paul Williams. He said to one of my friends, or... Oh, you know, he said to one of my friends, oh, this guy's really not nice. You know why he said that? Because I challenged him on uh, his scholarship about Martin, uh, a guy at Yale University. And because he couldn't cope with that, because I called him out on scholarship, he attacks me as a person. He attacks me as a person. At the end of the evening, when we were last down there, we got surrounded by a load of Muslims, me and Mike friend of mine and they started throwing abuse at us they started calling us all sorts of names because I wouldn't debate with with the kind of nonsense they were talking about they were they were just throwing out abuse in the in the why they wanted to one of the guys wanted to talk to me in the evening and I could sense that he was just out to mock 
So I said, no, I don't want to play your game. So then, because I wasn't going to play their game, they started uh, shouting abuse. And some of their main apologists uh, who were there, frightened to debate me, frightened to actually discuss with me. I had some of the young uh, Muslim apologists who got big YouTube channels standing next to me. And I ask them a question and they run away and then they call me names. You know, these people are intellectually dishonest. They can't debate. Hamza can't debate. Paul Williams can't debate. They're not good debaters. They're really poor at debating and they're poor in the scholarship. So they, they, they really don't know what they're talking about. I destroyed Shamji. I absolutely destroyed him. I asked him one question. What is the text of the Quran? And he couldn't answer it. And then at the end of, of the video, he manipulates the end of the video to make himself look good without being honest. The, the, the honest fact is he didn't answer the question. And then when it came to the other Muslim guy, he, you know, I like him, but he, he, he didn't know his stuff. Uh, Jay Smith is destroying your arguments week by week by week. Liz is destroying your arguments week by week. And, and because you're desperate, you're so desperate, you're attacking character. And that's all it's all about. Uh, it's the same with the internet atheists. The internet atheists are the same. Just attack the character. Attack the person. Um, they can't bring it. They, 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 the internet atheist and the Muslim apologists down at High Park, they're the same type. They're people who are trolls, who are just looking to make a name for themselves. <coughs> none of them are trained. None of them have any scholarship. None of them really know what they're talking about. And because they can't deal with people like me, they can't deal with people like Jay Smith or Lizzie, then they have to attack the character. And, and it shows the level of these kind of people. We're coming to Hyde Park in a few weeks' time. So if you want to bring it, bring it. If you want to debate, debate. But don't start throwing slinging accusations around. Don't start attacking people's character. Just let's stick to the topic. Is the Quran what I, I'm going to come down to Hyde Park, and I'm willing to debate Paul Williams and Hamza on number one: Did Jesus die and rise again? And number two: Has the Quran changed? What is the textual criticism of the Quran? I'm going to come down, and I'm going to be ready to debate on those two topics. So, if you want to debate me, Hamza, you want to debate me, Paul Williams. You want to debate me, uh, any other uh, Muslim apologist on those topics? I'll be there. My team will be there. We'll be there. And we'll be ready to talk to you, debate you, whatever. And when we debate you, when we talk to you, we're going to talk to you with respect. We're going to talk to you as equals. We're going to talk to you looking for good, sound arguments and scholarship. We're not interested in editing videos. We're not interested in getting loads of people around you to smother you, to stop you from speaking like you do as young Muslim men surround the Christians so that they can't speak. We're not going to threaten you and say we're going to kill you like we've heard. When we've gone down, we've heard actually a Muslim say that to an, a, a Christian who came away from Islam. We're not going to do those things. We're just going to come down. We're just going to chill out. We're just going to have a lovely day and we're just going to debate people and talk about the Lord. That's all we're going to do. And when we talk about the Lord, if you bring it and you bring your arguments, we're going to have evidence and we're going to demolish your arguments and show that your arguments are just a load of rubbish. That's what we're going to do. So stop the demonization. Stop saying that Jay Smith is Islamophobic and Liz is Islamophobic. And be a man, and, 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 and be an honest intellectual, and stand your ground, and, and debate in a proper way. Not attacking Lizzie, and not attacking Jay Smith. Let's just look at a bit more on this, on this uh, video.
God. Uh, my name's Paul Williams. I'm a to Muslims that you are meant to kill me, Jay Smith, and kill all Christians. This is what Jay Smith claims. And he adds that this is what the Quran teaches in Surah 9.5, which is just silly rubbish, as any Muslim will tell you. has encouraged his supporters to chant racist slogans against Moroccans and other Muslims and he was recently found guilty in Holland of inciting discrimination over comments that were demeaning towards the Moroccan population. Gerd Wilders wants to ban the Quran in Holland and has said he wants Muslims to leave Europe. This is a good friend of Jay Smith and they do the same work according to Jay Smith. Now moving on to Lizzie. This is how she talks to Muslims. She said recently, there is no sense in Islam that men have to exercise any self-control. So that many, many times, and we'll come to that in a moment on her discussion about the hijab. On another occasion, she rudely asks a Muslim man if he has more than one wife. And then she, she says a Muslim man should be embarrassed. Right. Okay. I haven't finished, by the way, but I'll let you carry on. After you. Okay, I'd like to say good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So the reason I'm here today no, is that. Please, no, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, the reason I'm here is that two weeks ago, um, Paul came up to me at Speaker's Corner and he confronted me about my hijab article. Uh, and I'd just like to give you some quotes that he said about my hijab article. There are some quotes. You can check them on the YouTube video if you like. It said, he said, it's full of anti Muslim bigotry and hatred. He said, I belong to an extremist Christian group. It was full of the most appalling misrepresentation and lies about Muslims, that I was demonising Muslims. Um, that I, uh, my very first sentence talks about how evil Islam is. It was full of horrible stuff. It was a vile attack on Muslims and it lies and lies and lies. If you don't believe me, you can just go and check it. Uh, What's very uh, interesting about what Paul has I just agree. done is that he hasn't actually mentioned that particular article at all. I was about to, I ran out of time. That is the reason that we're here. Sure. 
<laughs> I think she's kind of showed. She's doing it in a nice way, in a gracious way. And doing it in a scholarly way. So he goes all the accusations about she's Islamic phobia, and he just gives, uh, she just gives, the um, the scriptural basis from the Quran uh, about where she's at, you know. So I think I think there's your there's your evidence there for yourself. You've seen it. He goes out all the accusations about she's Islamophobic. And all she does is in a nice, gentle way shows, yeah, here's the Quran, and this is what it's saying about women. So she's looking at it theologically, and he's trying to politicize it in order to negate her scholarship. So, Paul, Hamza, and all the rest of you Muslim apologists, you need to get your act together. You need to sort yourself out. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you're losing all the arguments, so you're attacking Christian apologist character rather than their actual arguments. Alright, take care. God bless.